That's what you have to say. <laughs> This is the moment of truth for me. I'm about to have Nigeria Jello for the first time. You're just ruining it. You're ru look at my lips. You're ruining it. Ruining. Ruining. My dreams are very, very funny. <laughs> There's no way this Jello is close to. You admit this is not it, right? Another day in Nigeria, going to view more properties. Uh, I just had my breakfast not long ago. I just showed you guys. I tried Nigeria Jalof. You guys should just give up on this on this battle. Why are you saying original? Jalof is Jalof. No, no, no. Uh, uh, you, should, you should go to the right place to try Nigeria Jollof. Right, what do you, you that's the excuses <laughs> yeah, they are giving me now. Try, when you try somewhere they're like, ah, that's not the right Nigerian place. Jollof in, in in an hotel where a lot of people come to, so they try to turn down on a lot of things. Yeah. Well, that's what they are saying. I don't know where the right place is. No worries, you go to the right place. No, Allah, I'll, I'll try it. You go to a proper restaurant. Anyways, we're going to look at some properties. Uh, we're going to Lakey Face One. Lakey Face One. Uh, we're going to Lakey Face One. I think I was told that's where the big ballers uh, stay at. So, one eh? it's one of the places. One of the places. Okay. It's one of the places where the big ballers here in Nigeria stay. So um, we're heading there. Yesterday, I had a chance, the opportunity, to share a ride with Mr. Bang. Uh, the CEO of Crockstone. Crockstone. Uh, it was an amazing experience, full of wisdom. I'm inspired, and yeah, today we are on to the next. Let's see what you know God has in store for us. So yes, come with us. Uh, let me show you guys the street of um, Nigeria before you come fight me. Why are you not showing the street? Why are you not showing the street? This is the street. The hustle and the bustle of Lagos, B.I. Victoria Island. Oh, waiting with your problem now. <laughs> uh, uh, that's why I said V.I. Yeah, yeah, my my yeah, videographer yeah, is saying this. Is not busy. This is not so busy. Not so busy. Not so busy. You know, my videographer has been telling me, bro, you are not in Nigeria. I'm like, what, what's why you saying I'm not in Nigeria? It's like, come to mainland. I've been on the island for four days, yeah. four days, three nights now. But I think on Monday I'll go to the mainland. So yeah, I guess finally I'll go. But yeah, in the meantime I'm enjoying my time on the VI. Obviously, it's the bougie side of Lagos, so to speak. So I'm really enjoying myself. But let's see what the hustle and bustle in mainland have for us in this few days coming. All right, stay tuned. sites in Lagos yeah in Nigeria generally in Nigeria like how much pro uh, minimum property costs on that island minimum minimum property minimum three bedroom apartment 
in Banana Island, a flat, a three bedroom flat in Banana Island right now. Mm -hmm. The minimum you get is probably 450, 450 million naira. That should be about about 230,000 USD or 250,000 USD right now. 250,000? Yes, the land in Banana Island right now, um, a standard plot, like 1,000 square meters, mm -hmm. would cost you like about $600,000, $660,000 there about right mm. now. Standard plot, so it's really so the land is more expensive than the house. No, 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 I mean, you need that land, you need the land to build units, right? Right, so with a thousand square meters, for instance, you mm. can build like a, a block of flats of probably six units or so, mm -hmm. six or eight units thereabouts, you know, mm -hmm. and then you make your money, mm. you know, you just spread your cost. Out. I see, yeah, so basically, that's it. I see, so if you buy six hundred thousand dollars worth of land, you build four units or six units. Six to eight units. Six to eight units. You sell one for two hundred and fifty thousand. Um, so that's where you make your money. I see. Interesting. This is beautiful. Um, so I'm exploring Nigeria, guys. Comment down below what you want me to do whilst I'm here. By the time you see this video, I've already left the country, anyways. <laughs> but yeah, um, comment down what you want me to do the next time I'm in Lagos, Nigeria. <laughs> you see bikes run like this. They will snatch it and you never see really? it again. Oh god. Why are you guys so paranoid? Ah it's not paranoia, we know. <laughs> Somebody will snatch it and you'll never see it again. Serious? Yeah, that's the truth. They're, they're moving on bikes. You can't catch them. Yeah. Is that serious? Is that serious? Is that serious? One thing I've noticed in Lagos is there's a lot of J wagons here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of it. I'm not seeing so much of supercars, but there are. There are. Oh, there are. You have to say supercars coming out on Sundays. On Sundays. Sundays, yeah. That's when most people. You, you, there's there. Okay, from Friday nights you start. Yeah. To, from Friday nights you start seeing supercars. Mm -hmm. But then Sunday mornings. When people just because all these billionaires they're mm -hmm. in the offices right now, they're working, mm -hmm. they buy supercars just to show that mm -hmm. okay for the talk, mm -hmm. you understand. And then the only time they get to be able to experience it, you know, the, when the road is free, mm -hmm. you know, that you can really move and rev well, yeah, on Sundays, That's Sundays. no fret, no, no traffic, okay, you understand. So, other than that, I mean, when there's traffic everywhere, you just be there, you can't even really move. I see. So, yeah. Sundays then. Uh, I saw an I8, but I8 is just a starter pack to supercars. There are so many supercars. Okay. Oh, I mean, this, especially on the island. On the island. Oh, so where is like the lifestyle? The lifestyle, you know that Ferrari Lamborghini lifestyle. Like where does it happen? You know what I'm saying? So is it like in their houses or they have a place where everybody meets and just? So there are like I have a client, for instance. Yeah. Should I say it? Yeah. That belongs to a posh club. Mm -hmm. So there are those clubs, there are Lamborghini clubs, mm -hmm. posh clubs. You know, yeah. people who have those cars mm -hmm. from those clubs, mm -hmm. so they can collectively mm -hmm. experience, you know, yeah. have fun. You understand? Yeah. So that's that. That much I can tell you. Mm -hmm. I see. So posh clubs. Uh, we have. Do you have Bentley clubs here? Uh, well, I don't know if they are Bentley clubs, but I know that there are so it's many people that. That have Bentleys, there's so many people. They they usually take them to um, you know parties where well, is it Banana Island? Yeah, this is the way to Banana Island. We are going to Banana Island. We are not gonna enter. Okay. But I'll take you to the gate of Banana Island. I don't have the access code right now. Okay. Usually if I want to go into Banana Island, I would have it's just just You need a code. Yeah, you need a code. It's, it has gotten so difficult because most of the people I know there are no longer there. So, well, I still have some clients who are there, but then it's only if I'm having inspections. Yeah. But I can get the code from them and then go have inspections. Then. I see. Interesting. That means security is top notch. Oh, top notch. Top notch. So, if, if let's say a big baller is moving into Nigeria, mainland, and he wants a place with high network, the highest of the highest, which neighborhood are you recommending? So, um, Banana Island is one of such. It's not the only one. It's 
not the only one. A place like Osborne Phase One is also, oh my God, it's also crazy. Mm -hmm. It's it's low key, but it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Nikon Town is also crazy. Like Nikon Town is in Lekki, that's it. But that's one of the greatest. You know, that 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 property because of the people that live inside that estate. Mm -hmm. It, it made the estate appreciate value. even in value faster than some locations in Ikui mm -hmm. and it's in Lekki. I see. You understand? Because yeah. of the quality of people inside it. I see. You understand? Mm -hmm. So I mean there, there are there are a couple of locations like that. That's that's what one of the things they all said that high yeah. network individuals are spread, spread across, across everything. You understand? So some locations like this I mean, so this this is Banana Island Road. That's okay. Banana Island Road. Right? Into Gerard Road, mm -hmm. it's a it's a single stretch. Mm -hmm. but it's divided into Gerard Road mm -hmm. from the from the roundabout there up mm -hmm. until here. Mm -hmm. It's Gerard. We are from here. It's, it's we are in Alexander now. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's the same road. Mm -hmm. We are in Alexander now. Mm -hmm. After Alexander, then we get to Bodilon. Is it Bodilon or Bodilon? Bodilon. Like just like body. Bodilon. Yeah. It's B O U R D I double L. Mm. I O N Body Long Body Long Body Long Double L O N Yes Body Long It rhymes with Oti Long That's what I said That's what I said That's what I said That's what I Because I wanted you to see and experience mm -hmm. Gerard Road, Alexander mm -hmm. and Bodilon. Nice. So that's why I took the stretch. I wanted you to see and feel. Nice. I would have taken shortcuts, the shortcuts. and they would have just come out in front. I would have mm -hmm. avoided all this traffic. Nice. But I just wanted you to see and experience everything. I appreciate it. At least now I have a video. <laughs> right, all right, all right. So the rich kids are causing traffic. So you would see them. Hey. You will see them. You will see the cars. Coming to pick these kids, you, you wow. would see what it's like. <laughs> the rich kids of Nigeria is causing traffic. Oh. Yes, you, you would see what it's like. The kind of vehicles that pick them. Rush race. Yeah, come on, you'll see. You'll see. Hey, wow. <laughs> we have a lot of these cars in my country. This black one. 
Oh, it's used by the politicians. Yeah, uh, it's it used to be just politicians in Nigeria. Yeah. But then they've so bastardized it now. In fact, mm. politicians are even ashamed to use it. Really? Because, yeah, because everybody just buys them now. Yeah. It's so I mean. In fact, <laughs> even one of my friends that's just a normal guy has it. <laughs> really? so, in fact, I have I have like yeah. three friends that are just regular people that have they this. Have this. It's not expensive. It's expensive. It's really expensive. So how do they get the money if they're regular? They're not regular. They're, they're regular they, guys. They have money, but you don't think they have money. They they have money, but then it's not like see, a billion. In Nigeria, eh? mm. there's money and then there's money. <laughs> <laughs> there's money and then there's money. I mean, look. When I say regular guys, mm -hmm. there are guys that do stuff in this country that, mm -hmm. man. It's not. It's it's all yeah. about mm -hmm. it's all about connection and mm -hmm. who you know, who you are exposed to, mm -hmm. and the opportunities you are exposed to because of those people that you know. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. I mean, if somebody, if somebody calls me, for instance, now mm -hmm. I'll be like, and and they're like, okay, um, I need five million dollars. Can you help me get it? Yeah. I want to buy five million dollars. Yeah. That singular transaction, you can buy that car. Really? Exactly. Mm -hmm. I see. You understand? Yeah. They're regular. You are a regular guy. Yeah, but you you have access. You have access. Or somebody somebody calls me and they buy mm -hmm. a penthouse. Mm. Or you understand a mm. penthouse for seven million dollars. Yeah. You would buy that car. Yes, that's true. You understand? So it's nothing. Yeah. That Nigeria. I need to be in Nigeria, guys. <laughs> Do you mind? Yeah. It looks so lit. And I like your watch. Your look, your watch looks good. Damn. And the what's, this, what's this called? Hey. She's got some lion on there. Is she a good head of lion? Right. Oh, so you. Okay, you are married. Come on. No, 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 no. We are just. We are not friends. married. So why are you matching lion, lion? It's no, a coincidence. It's a coincidence. I, was, I was offended. Huh. Yeah, I don't think girls are supposed to wear this shirt. Right. It's supposed to be for men. It's for, it's for men. You which, can, which tribe are you from? Yeah. Hi. Which tribe? So, so you don't know, so, so you can't always say that it's for the Igbo people, so we should decide. What? So is it, is it like a taboo no, to do not. that? The women no, wear. Sure no, that's it's not true. true. Do you have to kill a goat because, because we've committed a crime? No, that's not true. Though. That's not true. That's if you should even search it, you see women wearing the shabu. Oh. It's just a goat. Not shirts and clothes. They are, they are to wear it, they are to wear it. Okay, let's go just to this one. It's all love, it's all love. Okay, nice to meet you guys. I'm from Ghana, Accra. It's oh. my first time here in Nigeria. This is my fourth day. Oh. And I'm looking to explore. What do you have to advise? What recommendation do you guys have for me? For you? Okay, you that just came. Yeah. Who else now? Shine I know your you eye. Who just came? Oh, shine your eye because... <laughs> you need to shine your eye because you don't yeah. know what to hit you. Yeah. yeah. So make her shine my eye. Shine your eye. Yeah. I have to be street smart. smart. Yeah. Ayana, go first. If you say I do that. I tell them is I'm putting on the shadow. I'll do that on my iPhone. Shadow. Huh. Huh. The beard, the beard goes together. Culture. Hmm? Say so the beard goes together. It's culture because I'm from Anambra, Oka. Mm. So in our town, this is culture. The beard, this. The watch oh. is not culture, but it's just a oh. right, 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 right. Um, swag up, man. It's so bad. It's some cultural swag, you know what I'm saying? Some cultural dripping. Ah, that's good. So we let them know Yo, no. that we have been dripping for the kill. <laughs> you feel me? You feel me, my nigga? Yeah. You wearing, you know, you are wearing your native attire. <laughs> you know how much. Hey guys, look the road. I don't run now. Amaka. Oh, dude, hey. dude, this dude. is animal Fine. print. Fine. Tiger leg or something. Yeah. Yeah. What you gonna ask me literally everything? No, okay, no. okay. Which one do you want me to ask? Fine, you can ask me. Did I have my phone? <laughs> yeah. Okay, just talk. Okay. Right. I'm going to this event here in Lagos, VI. And this event is more like come showcase your attire, home attire, where your tribe is coming from and stuff like that. So yeah. Um let's go, let's go check it out. Oh, do you need a ticket? Yeah. 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 